The Asia-Pacific region is aging rapidly. To address the challenges and harness the opportunities of population aging, we need forward-looking policies informed by evidence. The Madrid International Plan of Action on Aging is the global framework for policy action on aging. It calls for age and gender-sensitive data collection and analysis to provide the essential evidence for effective policies. To design policies that are aligned with MIPA, we need high-quality, timely, comparable and reliable data disaggregated by income, gender, age, ethnicity, and other characteristics relevant to national contexts. The lack of such data and analysis contributes to the invisibility and exclusion of older persons. To measure progress or identify gaps in policy implementation, a summary measure or statistical indicator of a key issue or phenomenon is needed. Particularly when accompanied by contextual information, indicators are a powerful tool for advancing implementation of global guiding documents. Traditional sources of data, such as population and housing censuses or surveys, provide demographic information of the entire population, including older persons. Data gathered as a byproduct of administrative processes, such as registrations for social protection payments, are another source. When such data are produced, it is important that they be tabulated and disaggregated by sex, age, and other characteristics. Statistics from these sources are typically complemented by qualitative analysis and data from civil society and academia. Moreover, several countries in Asia and the Pacific are already conducting dedicated surveys on aging. For example, health and retirement studies are population-based surveys that measure aging longitudinally. In 2021, six countries from the ESCAP region conducted such studies. In addition, 15 countries from Asia and the Pacific have conducted or planned some form of a national or subnational survey on aging. Time use surveys and national transfer accounts are other specialized sources of data available in some countries of the region. However, across and within countries, there is considerable variation in the accessibility of surveys on aging. Also, Survey questions and answer categories are often not harmonized or comparable, and data from these sources are often age-capped or feature limited age disaggregation. For these reasons, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development called for the collection, analysis, and dissemination of timely, comparable, and reliable sex and age disaggregated data. The 2030 Agenda complements MIPA and vice versa. Many SDGs, targets, and indicators address the situation of older persons. For example, SDG 5 on achieving gender equality and empowering all women and girls addresses disadvantages experienced by women over the life course, which result in gender gaps in education, health, or work in old age. SDG 10 on reducing inequalities within and among countries promotes empowerment and inclusion, as well as access to equal opportunities for all, including older women and men. The United Nations Decade of Healthy Aging echoes the call to collect, analyze, and disseminate disaggregated data to enhance the quality of life of older persons. ESCAP proposes that member states use a set of SDGs and related indicators with some modifications 
and other key indicators to assess progress in implementing MIPA and their policies on aging. In developing this framework, data availability has been taken into account. Moreover, by using widely used SDG indicators, the reporting burden on countries and stakeholders is minimized. An indicator framework with timely and reliable gender and age disaggregated data will help countries design forward-looking policies. These will enhance the well-being of all generations and ensure that no one is left behind.